can you beat John Jones on ultimate difficulty in UFT Undisputed 3? Marshall might put out a video the other day about this, and this is actually kind of in a similar vein to when he did the Can You Beat Anderson Silva on Ultimate, and I decided to take up the challenge on that one, and um, I thought I'd do it again uh, with this one. However, it's going to be a bit different, because I am not using someone from Light Heavyweight, not using anyone from Middleweight, or even Welterweight. I am using a Lightweight Fighter, and I'm going to use the worst, or at least... Moot, well, stats-wise, one of the worst fight. In fact, no, statistically, the worst fighter in the game, Ross Pearson. So we're up against it here. We are. We have multiple disadvantages. Not only are we going to be smaller, we're going to be weaker, less range, less strength, less significantly worse on the ground. But hey, it'll be it'll be uh, the ultimate challenge. I was I was con I was considering doing featherweight or bantamweight, but a lot of the guys there are fairly good and they have decent moves. Um, you got guys like Javier Vasquez who have no real striking, but they have good grappling. So Ross Pearson's like, he has a left hook and a nice jab. That's about it. Everything else is pretty poor. So we're going to do an event here. We'll just call it, um, what shall we call it? I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, in the end, I didn't really think of anything funny to come up with. I just thought I'd go with a traditional event thing. So we've got UFC 250, Jones versus Pearson. Um, thankfully, this will never happen, but we'll, we'll stick it, uh, we'll go to, we'll go to England. Why not? One fight. Continue. T yeah, tile fight. Five rounds. Uh, Herb Dean. So in the red corner, I shall put Mr. Jones. Oh, hold on a minute. Open white glitch. Yes. Okay. So uh, it'll be a lightweight tile fight, actually. John Jones. And here's how you do the, the open white glitch. Um, this will never patch. So this works on all consoles, all, all versions of the game. So you select one weight class, like we did there, and you select your fighter. This does work for CAFs, but only if the CAF is the second pick, I believe. Um, so we've got, we've got a division, and you go, you press on it again, and you, you, you hold right or left on the D-pad, and you have to time when you let it off to reach the division. So you've got to try and um, time for lightweight here. There we go. I made this a title fight. Ross Pearson, 81 overall. Absolutely terrible. He has 65 strength, 77 speed, 76 cardio, 81 footwork, 82 standing kicks. You know, he's got okay striking, but still, his grappling is completely awful in every way. So he is seriously at a disadvantage here. Let's do this. I'm coming for you, John. Well, part of what will be left of me will be coming for you once you rip me limb from limb. But hey, that is all to come. Let's do this. Yep. Ultimate simulation. Let's get it. The Octagon has returned to beautiful London, England. We are sold out. Inside the O2 Arena, our main event of the evening has the potential to be one of the greatest fights in UFC history. Hi again, everybody. I'm Mike Goldberg. Welcome once again to the Ultimate Fighting Championship. It's been months in the making. Five rounds of action for nothing less than the most prestigious title in the sport today, the UFC Championship. As always, I'm here with my partner, Joe Rogan. Joe, this is the fight that everybody is talking about. Tonight's main event for the championship. I can't remember being this excited for a fight, Mike, and you know how pumped up I get for fights. We have a champion widely regarded as one of the top pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the sport today. Then we have the challenger coming in here with so much momentum, a guy who, in my opinion, represents the biggest threat our champion has faced in his entire career. This is going to be an awesome fight. Well, you said it, partner. Great night of fights ahead of us, highlighted by what could be one of the greatest championship fights of all time. But before we get things started, let's take a look at our rules of the octagon. Three judges scored the bout, the bout duration three five-minute rounds. Tonight's championship fight is scheduled for five five-minute rounds. A 10-point must scoring system is in effect, with the round winner gaining 10 points, his opponent nine or less, based on effective striking, grappling, aggression, and octagon control. And now it's time for our main event of the evening. Coming up 
up next, it's a lightweight title fight between John Jones and Russ, the real deal Pearson. A skilled boxer, wrestler, and Muay Thai practitioner, Ultimate Fighter winner Ross Pearson has shown a wide variety of talents inside the octagon. Scrapping his way up the lightweight division, he's looking to take home one more victory with a submission or knockout. As dynamic with his grappling as he is with his striking, John Bones Jones has dominated the light heavyweight division and only gets better with each fight. A gifted athlete with a long reach and powerful takedowns, Jones has made it very clear that he's a force to be reckoned with. Ross Pearson, set to enter the octagon and attempt to capture the belt. Ross Pearson is very solid on his feet. Great boxing, nice leg kicks, and he can dish out some serious ground and pound too. Ross Pearson, fired up and looking to put that belt around his waist. John Jones, making his way to the octagon, ready to defend his UFC title. John Jones is a supremely gifted athlete. He is explosive with his takedowns and his strikes, and he can be very creative in his attacks. Spinning elbows, heel kicks, he is a human highlight reel. John Jones, ready to throw down and defend his title. Tale of the Tape is brought to you by Dodge. Once again, with our official introductions for this battle, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And now, live from the O2 Arena in London, England, it's time! Five rounds for the UFC Lightweight Championship of the World! Introducing first, the challenger, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, 11.1 .1 stone. Fighting out of Sunderland, England. Ross, the real deal, Pearson. And now, introducing the champion. Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist. He stands six feet, four inches tall. Weighing in at 205 pounds. 14.6 stone. Fighting out of Endicott, New York. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the reigning, defending UFC lightweight champion of the world, John Bones Jones. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Herb Dean. All right, gentlemen, this is for the championship. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Mike Goldberg alongside Joe Rogan. We are ready to get things started. Are you ready to fight? Ross Pearson. Ready? John Jones. Now I hear you ask, how in the hell is John Jones the lightweight champion? Well, it's quite simple. He um, he stole it. He stole the belt, and he was able to get out of the um, get out of the eye of the authorities and uh, get away clean. 
So he is officially the lightweight champion. Go for that spinning elbow here. Let's see what we can work on here. Let's see if we can work that boxing. Fake that left hand. There you go. Low kick there. Work those sticks as legs. Oh, he hit me with a flying knee. That's bad. Again, we're already at a massive weight disadvantage. We uh, can't take too many strikes. It's going to be painful. And we do we we ha we can't really grapple either, so we have to just box. There you go. Work that jab. Bang! And the body. Five round fight, so we do have the advantage in cardio, hopefully. Being much lighter. Oh, nice. Quan coming in. Ah, left hand. Oh, I like that low kick. Ow! And again to the body. He's catching me with that. Checked. Ooh. Okay. Ow! All right, we're clinching up here. Maybe not the best idea, but... We could do with a little bit of a... Ah, he got me down. That's bad. That is bad. Can we get up? Yes. Gonna go to the body. Bang. Again, that, that 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 stepping jab and then the body shot's doing wonders for us right now. That, 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 that left hook that Pearson is known for. Nice. He's going for those back. He's, he's really he's, he's, he's happy spinning, but that, that gives us an opportunity. Let's break. Let's... Shit. Let's break. We don't want to be there. Ooh. Coming to the end of the first round now. Ah. There you go. A little bit of a combo at the end. Oh, and a nice left hand. The pull counter and the leg kick. Good first round. That was a good first round. We we evaded. We took some damage, but we also gave some back. So probably given that round, he had the uh, octagon control. He was pushing forward, but we weren't completely dominated. So there are some positives to take from that round. Don't see any bad areas. Very nice. I mean, considering that you know my lightweight going up against a light heavyweight, I think this might be the best performance. I could possibly give so far, in that I haven't been knocked out in about five seconds flat. Oh, he caught me coming in, going in for that left hook, that signature left hook of Pearson. Overextended, got caught. Lessons to learn, but they will be learned, hopefully. So he opened a cut under his uh, right eye. That'll slow his uh, stamina regeneration. If we somehow end up on the top, I'll try and work that cut. I think Pearson has elbows. I could be wrong. Could have hooks. No touch. Okay. In UD, UD 2010, they did actually touch, but in this game, after the first round of this game, they don't. Ah! Everything he everything he throws just carries so much power. Oh, nice uppercut, though. That would have ended my life. I wonder if we can sneak in a head kick. He's going to go up top. Oh, he's going to go up top soon. Yep. Okay, let's see if we can... Bang! Ooh. Just caught him with that high kick. Didn't hit him completely flush, but... Trying to get that push kick. Is he going to go for a head kick? Nope. He will do soon, I think. He does love his... He, see, he spins to the body. He goes up top. Very hard to know where he's going to go next. Okay, we have we still got we got three more rounds, you know. We, we we can take this slow. We can afford to take it slow. Play the long game. In a three round fight, he will win a lot of the time because he can get a lot of damage off very quickly. Whereas we have to play the long game. Nice left hook. Caught him. Overextending on that. Uh, was it body kick? I forgot already. It was a protector high kick. I forget. Oh, that would have been death. Nice low kick. Got to be careful of the body. Is he going to go high? He's going to go high soon. He's going to go high soon. Ooh, just evaded that. Nice left hook. 
We are at range, so maybe a little bit too close for him to go up top. <sighs> this is legitimately tense, man. At any moment, he could put me on the canvas. Oh, I went down again. I don't know why. I keep thinking that's a body shot. That step and jab is very useful. Oh, he's uh, taking my body apart. Oh, man, he hits like a truck. Nice. Got a body shot off our own. We are starting to gas. This is bad. We're starting to gas in. It's only uh, the end of the second. Okay. That body work is coming in uh, very handy for John. Oh, this is going to be a tough one. I'm starting to gas. And he is landing big shots. Oh, man. Just don't have the power. I have okay speed, but... This was that counter. Such unbelievable timing on that. Um, and here such a tricky fight. I'm landing some low kicks. Landing something to mix it up. But... Ooh. A little faint there. But then again, he dodges it. He sees it coming. He's learning. Solid striking on display in that round, Mike. Yeah. Smart corner advice there. Third round. We've still got two more to go if we can survive. And I've got to start turning it up somehow. I've got to find a way to get inside, land more shots, because right now I am just sort of fighting defensively. There you go. We've got to stop him going to the body. We've got to stop him going to the body. It is it is killing me. Probably not a great idea, but it... Oh! Three, mate. And this fight ends up on the ground again. Uh, no, no, no point going for submission. We don't have it. We have like 60 subs. There we go, back to our feet. Ah! Man, he is putting it on me here. Oh, he's starting to gas a bit, though. Let's uh, let's rip the body. Nice low kick. Got a bit of a shot there. Ah, I wanted to go in, but there you go, step jab. We're both slowing down, but he might be slower than I, I am. Those spinning strikes are going to take take the gas out of you. Ah, every time I get caught. There we go. Bang. Ooh, he reversed. Oh, my God. I went down. Ooh. That was dangerous. Fake that left hand. There we go. Oh, he's down. That's it. Was it? Plant some shots. Bang. Okay, starting to heat up now. Nice. That 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 rear kick's gonna be dangerous if I get caught with the counter off of that. Oh, beautiful. Got out of the way. That range he has, it's crazy. Starting to play more defensive now. I'm worried after getting rocked. He can't take many more of these, Joe. Under a minute remains. He caught the Smart. But I was able to defend. Go with that push jab. Forty-five seconds remains. Uh step in jab, rather. Trying to fake that left. Nice leg kick. Ooh, saved myself there with that low kick. And again. Oh, man, that is so, seriously hurt now. Got to be careful. Oh, that body's starting to go purple almost. We did better in that round, although we got seriously hurt. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Can't take too much more. I keep, yeah. This is getting bad now. Okay. Man, every time I get inside, he just, he just, he hits the body. And that fucking elbow of death. That elbow is... Thankfully, I didn't take too much damage on that after the initial strike. I, I was able to catch the first strike. 
Herb's just walking around like, yeah, this is normal. If we can rock him, that really opens up some opportunities. There's no way I can submit him, but I can uh, land some nice shots on the map. Fourth round. I've got to finish him. No way I'm winning a decision. Unless there is some serious fuckery involved. Here we go. There we go. Oh, there's a nice opportunity there. And again, I went, I went, I went down. That would have been bad. They are exchanging here, Mike. He is destroying my body. Bang, head kick. I've got to catch the next strike. It goes to the body. Okay, do not let him trip. Do not let him trip. Get out. There we go. Head kick. That left hand is is, is the faint is the faint weapon. Sort of saw that one coming. I gotta get. I cannot let him take the body anymore. He is seriously hurting me. He's he knows it. He's going back to the body. I'm working. Hard. And he's got weapons up top. That stepping jab. He's hurt. Do not get caught by a submission. Do not get caught in a submission. Oh, this is bad. Get up. Okay, that's fine. Left hand. And that's step and jab. We can land a big head kick. Oh. Ooh. It's dangerous. He's got so many weapons. Left hand. Come on. Come on. Come on. We are hurting him in this round. Bang. Holy shit, how is he not dead? I mean, I am landing everything. Then again, it's Ross Pearson. Not known for his power in this game, is he? Oh my god. That left high kick's going to be it. It's going to be it if we get it done. Oh, he's hurt! He's hurt! Oh, he's down! Can we finish it? No! The end of the round. Holy shit. Okay. Well, um, that, that, that might have won us the round. I mean, that was a rock. He didn't, we didn't rock him. He didn't rock me. But holy shit, he caught me with some big body shots. I landed, I managed to time the shots better. God, that is hurting me so badly. That step jab, though. Ross using that boxing, able to set up some uh, some strikes off of that. Oh, that is beautiful, that animation. And, oh, and they had a right on the way down. He was able to see that one come and land the head kick. Okay. Fifth and final round. This is where champions shine. He's going to come out high. He's going to come out fast. It's his belt. He's looking to defend. Can we take it off the champion here? We are set for the fifth and final round of this UFC title fight. Nice. Again, step and jab. Got to be careful. Can't overextend. If I overextend on that and he catches me, I'm dead. I do not. I just don't want to sit in ra any range of them because he's just—he's so tricky. Even in close, see he lands those push kicks. Oh, trust give that intercept me. Okay. Nice. Come on, John. Fucking fall over. 
Come on, I think one more head kick and that's it. Oh my god. Nice. If he starts slowing down, that's also good news. Holy shit, he's down. This is it. This is it. Oh my god, John, you are fucking godlike with your recovery. Come on. Let's put him down. Do not go for submission. Get up. Just get up. Up, 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 up. You might start going for submissions. That's bad. That's bad. Uh, fine. That works. I'm gassed. That's okay. You switch stance. Going for a big strike. Oh my god, I have to win. I have to win. That left head kick. Come on. It's over. It's over. We win. That left hand drew out that that counter. Man. Mirko Pierce and Ross Krokop. Jesus, I'd like to see the scorecards for that one. <sighs> now that was seriously tough. God damn. Hey look, respect to John. He, he tried as hard as he could. He had me in big trouble. But in that fourth round, I started to time him. Hurt him real bad at the end. And in the fifth, that was all she wrote. And no. Bang. Beautiful. Beautiful head kick to finish that. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes of the fifth round. Declaring the winner by knockout. And now, the new UFC lightweight champion of the world. Ross, the real deal. Oh, that looks good. That sounds good. That feels good. The plucky Brit, Ross Pearson, takes out John Jones and becomes the UFC lightweight champion. Celebrate, my man. You earned it. Holy shit, my body was fucked. Man, I went for a few body strikes, but they just didn't do much. <laughs> they didn't do much. Um, I should have gone to the body more, but I, I, I figured that... Although I don't do much damage anyway. I got to invest as much as I can into the head. My head wasn't seriously damaged, but my body was in big trouble. 77%. Man. I landed a good percentage of my strikes. He threw a lot and, he, he, he threw a lot and missed, but he also landed a lot. So, I landed a lot of uh, knees. Kicks and knees. So... Yeah, that was a that was a very that was one of the toughest fights I've ever had on this game, but um, it was good fun, if not very tense, which is also part of the experience. You know, it was, I'm happy that it was tense. It was honestly a serious, serious challenge, and I and I recommend anyone give this a go if the uh, if you're up to it. I mean, this might be a really good way of getting better as well, because not only are you facing ultimate hell, you're also fighting an uphill battle regardless of who you use, because you're at a massive weight disadvantage. So you know. Um, it could help, you know, you might find ways to get inside that you might not have realised, because it forces you to play smarter, because you have to, otherwise you're going to get caught, you're going to get taken down, or hit really badly, and you're going to be in trouble, so. This is a good learning tool. Um, you could even do banterweight if you want, although, it, it depends, because you would be a little bit of less, more of a weight advantage, but they got much better moves and better stats at banterweight, so, it's up to you, really. Um, yeah, again, again, regular AI ultimate is just perfectly fine as well, because that's also very difficult, but I suppose this is just how hard can it get. So, yeah, again, um, thank you to Marshall Mind for putting out this uh, this challenge. Much uh, much appreciated. It was good, good fun. And, uh, yeah, go subscribe to him if you haven't already, although I'm pretty sure anyone who's watching me has heard of him and is subscribed to him, so there you go. Um, but, yeah, thank you to him and... Uh, there will be more UD3 videos coming, as you know. That is the game I basically... That is the MMA game for me, Undisputed 3. Universe mode will be tonight. Um, or, it's already happened. 
th that's that's possible too. It's either it's either coming up tonight or it's already happened, depending on when I actually upload this. So, um, I hope you enjoy it if you've if, if it's before and if you've if it's already happened. I hope you did enjoy it. Anyway, have a good one. And there, uh, yeah. Take care, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.